everybody welcome back to my channel so i'm so bummed that halloween is almost over but i couldn't let this halloween pass by without doing my favorite superhero which is batman so if you guys want to see how i achieve this look then please keep on watching thank you guys so one eye is already done and I'm starting off with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm just applying this with my finger and blending it up to my crease. I'm using this with a 88 matte palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm just applying yellow all over my eyelid and the reason why I apply the milk first was because that the yellow pigment needs to stand out more because the 88 matte palette isn't as pigmented as I would like it to be so I'm just applying the yellow on top of the milk just so that it stands out a little bit more and then we're gonna take some sticky tape and apply it at the back of our hands just to take out any excess tape and then we're gonna apply this on the edge of our eye just so that way you have that fierce sharp line crisp look <laughs> so then we're gonna go in with our MAC 217 brush and our black and then we are going to blend this into our crease and we're also gonna wing it out on the outer V of our eye to give it that crisp look once we take off our tape Guys, thumbs up if you love Batman because Batman definitely has to be my favorite superhero movie. Hello! <laughs> Okay, so next we are taking our L'Oreal Extra Intense Liquid Eyeliner Pencil and we are going to put this in our waterline just so that there is no nude peeking through. So after we're taking our gel liner, I'm using the one from Black Radiance and the angled brush that comes with it. Um, I really love this brush. It's super, super nice for doing wing liner. So I'm just going to do a cat line and I'm really going to accentuate that flick at the end because we really want that liner to go really, really far and follow our outer V. And then I didn't like how the gel liner looked in the beginning. So to do that flick, I'm taking my absolute ink pen and I'm just going to do that little point that you see on the outer V of my eye and this is how I'm gonna do that little point and yeah I thought it suit the look really well Also with our ink pen, we're just going to go right underneath our lower lash line and this is just going to really darken up the look and I just thought the point just really made it look Batman-ish. <laughs> so then we're going to go back in with our angled brush and a little bit of more gel liner and we're just going to really define that point in the inner part of our eye and don't worry if you mess up, you can always just take a q-tip and just clean up that point and make it nice and crisp. So I forgot to record a single segment for the white but the arrows are pointing to the white and then we're just going to use that as a brow bone highlight and then once you're done with your brow bone highlight I just apply some falsies and I applied my Jordana Best Slash Extreme Mascara. As for foundation today I'm using the L'Oreal True Match dotting this all over my face and then blending it out with my e.l.f. Small Stippling Brush.
And then once you're done singing into your makeup brushes, next we're taking our Fit Me powder and we're just using a Real Techniques blush brush and we're setting our face. I am skipping concealer today because my L'Oreal True Match really doesn't need any concealer because it just really brightens the face which is why I really like this foundation. And then once you're done with that, using that same blush brush from Real Techniques, we're using our Milani's Baked Bronzer which is my favorite bronzer ever. <laughs> so I'm just using this as a bronzer and as a blush today because hello Batman doesn't wear makeup. So now moving on to the lips, we're taking our absolute ink pen and now this is where it gets tricky so follow along guys. So we're going to start off by making three points, two at the top of our cupid's bow and one on the bottom of our lip and now we're just going to trace out the stencil so when we do our Batman logo on our lips. So you might want to get a picture of the Batman logo to follow along and then after we're going to make two points on the bottom of our lip and then after we're going to go ahead and connect all those points and make two curves on the top of the cupid's bow and that will be our wings you'll see what i mean but make sure you do these points and a ink liner pen really helps before you move on to the gel liner because it'll just really help you trace out the stencil so here's what i mean when you are going to make those curves on the top of your cupid's bow and you're also going to connect it to the bottom of your lip and here we're just going to draw out the batman wings for the logo So after you finish tracing out your stencil and connecting all your dots and lines, this is what you should end up with, the Batman logo. Don't worry if it's not perfect because we're going to go ahead and go on now with our angled brush and our gel liner. And I'm just using the same one from Black Radiance. And now I'm going to fill in my entire lips with the logo and the black gel liner. And we're going to really point out the curves so the batman wings and the points on the top of our cupid's bow you really want to make sure you point that out because that is really gonna define and show off our batman symbol guys so easy enough right so then once you finish doing all of that and filling it in we're gonna go in with some yellow face paint and now I'm just using a little flat shader brush and I'm just gonna take that yellow and go all around my outer part of my lips and I'm also gonna put this yellow on the inner part of my lips just to really make that Batman symbol stand out Oh, and if you do decide to do this slip, make sure you drink through a straw, because if not, you'll just ruin your hard work.
And once you're done with that, guys, that completes the whole entire Batman tutorial. So I'm so bummed this is my last Halloween tutorial, but I hope you guys enjoyed all of my Halloween tutorials. I hope you guys enjoyed the Batman tutorial. Let me know in the comments below which one of these Halloween tutorials were your favorite. And comment below and let me know what you're going to be for Halloween this year. So I hope you guys have a great and safe, happy Halloween. I will see you in my next video and take care, guys. Bye.